G'day guys and welcome to Prime Waters. Today I came across this interesting story on Facebook and uh, it's a story brought up by 9.com.au. Uh, now if you want to check this story out, there's also a video to it, so I'll link this story in the description bar down below. But I found it really interesting. It's about um, shark cameras, reveal how great white sharks hunt their prey. Now um, some scientists uh, tagged... Uh, eight great white sharks off of South Africa, and uh, they were learning their behaviour of great whites and how they hunted in these waters. Now, I can remember reading or watching a video a few months back where they actually talked about great whites in South Africa where they would avoid the kelp. Um, this is an area where sea lions and um, fur seals would... Uh, uh, find safety from great white sharks and uh, it's quite interesting now because uh, uh, it's not a safe space so um, just we'll have a look at this article and like I said if you want to check the video out I'll play a little bit now to get together in groups hunker to the sea floor and blow bubbles at the shark and you're about to see an example of that here the shark swims through the bubbles followed by the kelp forest pushing directly through the stipes and all right, so that's a little uh, sneak peek of the video. So I will link this in the description bar down below so you, you can go check it out. But we'll just continue on uh, with the story. It's a shark's eye view. Cameras attached to a great white shark have revealed how agile they are when hunting for prey. Scientists have always believed the predators waited on the edges of a densely packed kelp forest to ambush seals because they were too big to swim through it. See, so... You know, that's what we were led to believe. But uh, new footage now um, indicates that uh, they don't. They actually do go in there. Uh, scientists, uh, new, but new footage shows massive predators, nimble gliding through tight pack. Um, yeah, so um, the film was collect collected, gives us a new perspective on the species. Oliver J Jewell, a PhD student at Western Australian, Western Australia's Murdoch University said, we can see how they interact with other surroundings in real time and they are able to make some pretty spectacular 180 degree turns in the kelp forest. Um, Dr. Taylor uh, from California Stanford University said the camera tags have provided his team with wealth of information. At times we have, um, at times we have, have, to spend many hours at sea, perch over the side of the boat to deploy these tags with no guarantees to even see a shark, but the, the incredible data made it all worthwhile. So it's quite interesting. So I thought this might be um, interesting for you uh, for you guys. Uh, the footage was collected from eight sharks tagged off the of South Africa coast. Scientists attached the cameras by luring the sharks with chum and sea decoys, decoys before using the fishing rod light device to clamp the mounted camera and motion sensors for uh to their dorsal fins so um there you go uh, i thought this will be interest be interesting for you guys to have a look at uh like i said i can remember a while back where they mentioned that uh the uh the kelp forests uh, were a safe area for seals uh to uh, uh to hide away from the great whites but obviously going by this um that is not the case so uh very interesting all right guys that's it for this video thank you for tuning in uh, remember to drop a comment down below hit that like button share this video and like i mentioned before if you're interested in having a look at this video the link for it will be in the descri description bar down below all right guys thank you and i'll see you in the next video